Hey, this is Steve, and I wanted to show you um, a way that I've been going about farming adamantoys is to get platinum ignits or traps. So first things first, I'm going to go in and attack. Now I'm just going to use what I call the summon plus method. Um, first things first, I let Vanille and Fang buff the hell out of my characters. Uh, Lightning's just going to sit as a support role as a medic. Uh, her healing isn't that strong, but it's enough just to keep my guys alive at this point, which is really all I'm trying to do. Um, once my characters are properly buffed with uh, Faith and Brevera, I'll then switch to uh, a paradigm that has Fang set as a uh, uh, saboteur, and I'll go ahead and summon Bahamut. That will knock down his legs and drop the Adamantoids, and I will go ahead and debuff the Adamantoids while Bahamut beats the hell out of it. Now, this is helpful because I don't have to worry about actually dealing damage to the Adamantoids. Right now. Bahamut, my dogs are going crazy. Bahamut will do all the damage that will raise the. Uh, the um, stagger gauge. And really all I'm interested in is, is these three debuffs. After that I'll switch over to a paradigm that has Fang. He is a uh, commander. Uh, Vanille is a ravager and then um, Lightning is a commander. So when they come back in they'll just get right to hitting it. Now Bahamut will stagger the enemy here and I'm going to go ahead and start hitting for about 120,000 a pop. Now he's going to go away. The reason you don't go into just stop mode is because that will reset, uh, reset the stagger gauge. So now my other characters are in and this thing should go down pretty quick. And it's dead. And you did about two minutes. I'm going to get 80,000 CP points because I've got the uh, growth egg on. If I'm lucky, I'll get a trap or a platinum ignot. Unfortunately, I'm not lucky, even though I have the collector's catalog on. Right, so he's dead. Now I'm going to want to charge up my TP gauge. So I'm going to go fight these, uh, these mobs of soldiers back here. One of the benefits of doing this is, A, they offer some pretty decent, I uh, need to make sure I have a attack paradigm on. They offer a decent amount of CP points, but on top of that, they do drop incentive and credit chips, which are beneficial because you can sell those for some dough. And, and well, it doesn't seem um, like a huge amount of money, you know, you get a couple, you get 10, 15, 20, before you know it, you have enough to buy one more particle accelerator, you know, and that's, uh, that adds up, and it, uh, it can really help out a lot in the long run. So, right. keep this guy here. Oh, I do have the sprint shoes on all three of my main characters, so that's why there's the auto haste. And these two mobs back here are really all I'm interested in. Alright. These guys aren't hard, they're just tedious. Uh, the bazooka attack, since it pops your guys in the air and delays them, so to speak, it's annoying. It doesn't really hurt your guys that much, especially at this level. Um, now you can do this with other parties. This isn't the only party you need. Basically you just need somebody who can properly buff your characters and uh, somebody who can uh, properly heal your characters. Now I've got my TP gauge charged up. I can go and reset it at this point and save it or I can just save some time and just go up these stairs turn around and you'll see on the right side of the screen entering into frame here in a second 
is an adamantoise. So that's how you respawn the adamantoise. So, in five minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fight this thing twice and I'll have beaten it twice in about seven minutes. Just like before, I'll go ahead and buff my character. Sometimes he stomps pretty early, sometimes... Yeah, like this is a relatively early stomp. But fortunately, because I'll have Protect Terra on and Shaura, Lightning does more than... I mean, she's more than sufficient at healing at this point. <clears throat> Alright, so I'll get these... Uh, buffs going here. Alright, switch to the saboteur roll. Call in the summon. Skip the scene and get right down to business. Now, curse can be helpful if you're fighting him when he's standing up, but I don't know why it it, it uh, casts it first when you're using. I just I don't understand why it does that, but whatever. Alright, so I got slow, deep protect. And D-Shell. Again, these are the only three you're really worried about. And switch over to my final paradigm. Start hitting it. Now you can do Imperil, but then you've got to have somebody who comes back and casts like in fire or in water or whatever in your weapons. And it's just an extra step that's, in my view, doesn't really save much time. Alright. So again, Bahamut's going to go ahead and do all the heavy lifting and stagger... Uh, the adamant toys for me. And then after that, you know, he'll get a couple more attacks in, hit it with the fire. Also, another benefit is if any of your characters die or are low in health, the summon will heal them and bring them back to life. So, unfortunately, if they die, they'll lose all their, their buffs, but, you know, what are you going to do? Alright. So this thing will drop pretty quickly here. And it's dead. Alright, so I've beaten it twice in under 8 minutes. Minute 59 there. And I didn't get jack shit that run either. It's the most frustrating part. But now I can either reset it, or I can go fight those enemies again, but they're not there. So I'm going to show you how to respawn those guys. So you don't have to go through saving and resetting and all that. I just find the saving and resetting annoying. Um, so this can save you a couple minutes, and when you're doing this over the course of an hour or so... It adds up. Um, Alright, so you want to go far enough so that you can see down that road that's destroyed there. And be careful not to be attacked by the Bahamuts because uh, they are not hard to beat, but they are tedious and annoying. Right. As long as I avoid the Bahamuts or whatever and I run up these stairs, you'll see that those two guys that weren't there a second ago are back, so I can defeat them. And more importantly, the two big mobs in the back are here, and those guys will give me most of my TP points. So I'm going to go ahead and beat these guys, and then go up the stairs, respawn the uh, the adamantoys, and uh, get back to work. But that's the that's the route. You know, you can do this. If you're really fast, you can kill three of them in under ten minutes. Um, I'm sure there's some other ways you can farm them up back on Pulse, but maybe I'm a little bit lazy and I just find this easier, more convenient. A lot of times I'll put on a TV show on my computer. I mean, you don't even really need to pay attention <laughs> while you're doing it. I, you know, I guess this is one of the gripes I have about the modern role-playing game is it's obnoxious to have to do this. Why should I have to farm... For endless hours. That's not challenging, it's tedious. You know, all just to get the special weapons so I can get a trophy. I mean, yeah, I don't have to do it, but I mean, the challenge is there from the game to get all the items, but I mean, is, should it really be this hard to do that? 
This is another reason why I don't like games where you have to manually upgrade your weapons. I mean, I, I love the old games where you found all the secret weapons by beating bonus bosses or uh, finding treasure chests and dungeons. I mean, that was fun. This farming to get stuff to convert, I mean, this is... This is the trend in games, but it's it's annoying, and I don't think I'm alone in that. So, again, I'll go up these stairs, turn around here as the video comes to a close, and you'll see our buddy Mr. Adamantoys come back into screen. There he is. Yep, and that's that. So, you know, hopefully this helped out. I wish I had found this out a long time ago. Uh, I've been farming and resetting and this saves me a lot of time but uh, but yeah that's that so this is steve and uh hope everything else is going out all right there for you